Hi, I'm Adam Clements, and this is Tricks of the Trade. Water. We drink it, we use it to cook, we bathe in it, we use it to wash our clothes. Virtually everything we do in our lives revolves around water. But how does it get into your home clean and ready to use? Well, we're here at the Greater Cincinnati Waterworks to tell you everything you need to know about your H2O. Hi, Jeff. Hi. How are you? Thanks Good. for having us. Thank you. Okay, I've always wondered what goes on here at the Waterworks. Can you tell me a little bit about where we are now, what, what's all happening here? Sure. You're here now at the, uh, the Richard Miller Treatment Plant, which is the largest of the Cincinnati Waterworks two treatment plants. And we get our water from the Ohio River. So our job is to take the water that looks uh, something like this, uh, which we got out of the river today, and then turn it into the, the, the clear, uh, delightful drinking water that the people of Cincinnati are used to. So this came out of the Ohio River today? This is today's Ohio River water, yes. Wow, and it turned into this. And we turn it into that through it's, our treatment process. It's pretty remarkable. Yeah. Okay, now more specifically, where exactly are we right now? As we're outside, I see a lot of pools of water here, a lot of water. Tell us exactly what's going on out here. Okay, this is one of our first steps in, in the treatment process. Uh, what, we'll take the Ohio River water, bring it in, and then we add a chemical called alum to the, to the water. And what the alum does is it coats the particles that are floating around in the water, and it makes the particles sticky. And they form these big globs. And as the, these globs grow and grow and more particles get to them, um, the globs become heavy and they'll fall out of the water. And what you see here, these are the, some of our settling basins where some of this uh, the settling occurs. Huh. Interesting. Now, does it ever, does it, do we ever pick up any fish, anything like that, or are those filtered out long before we get here? Um, the, the fish, uh, they, they could make it uh, up into this, usually not by going through the pumps. And usually fish don't make it that far through, uh, through the pumps. But it is, uh, occasionally we'll see a fish in this part. The, the next step in our treatment process, though, we'll remove the fish and, and other things, too. Speaking of the next step in the process, shall we? Sure. Okay. Okay, Jeff, so... Uh, we're here inside now. Uh, this is the next big step in the treatment process. Tell us exactly what's kind of going on in here. Okay, um, after our sedimentation process where we remove uh, about 90 to 95% of the particles that are in the water, we then bring it to our sand filters here. And the purpose of these, these filters in is to remove the rest of the particulates that might be left over from the sedimentation process. And the sand filter consists of about two and a half feet or so of sand. So the water after the sedimentation process goes on top of the sand filter, and then as it trickles through the sand, the sand acts as a filter then to remove the rest of the particulates. So what, what exactly is the sand removing down there? Okay, the sand is removing any of the leftover particles from the sedimentation process. So the, the, the sticks, the, 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 the pieces of dirt and clay, the bacteria that weren't removed by the sedimentation gets removed here. So whatever they missed outside, it takes care of it in here. Yes, the sand filters are our next barrier, and that's exactly what they do, okay. yes. Okay, wow. Okay, this is a lot of information, but I'm still following you. I'm ready for the next step. Shall okay. we? Let's do it. Okay, Jeff, so this is the next step in the treatment process. Tell us what's going on behind this glass here. Okay, this is a, a second filtration step, and this is a step we're really excited about here in Cincinnati. We think it makes us really special in water treatment. What we do here is, um, up until this point, we've removed the particles from the water. We removed the, the solids, the bacteria and viruses and things like that. And what we do here is we use a process called granular activated carbon, okay. or GAC. And the GAC is, uh, you think of it as being a, a crushed coal that's been specially treated. And because it's been specially treated, the organic contaminants like uh, herbicides and pesticides, industrial chemicals, gasoline, and those kinds of things are very sticky to the, the activated carbon. So by running the water over the activated carbon, we're then, we're then able to remove those types of compounds. Okay. Okay, Jeff, can you tell us about what happens after this process? Sure. After this process, we then need to disinfect the water. So we'll add chlorine to the water to kill any viruses or bacteria or things like that that may have gotten through. We're also in the process right now of building a UV disinfection facility. So we'll use UV rays, just like they come from the sun, to actually help disinfect our water. And once that's completed, we'll be the largest facility in North America with the sand, the carbon, and the UV uh, disinfection. Right here in Cincinnati? Right here in Cincinnati. You're saying things like carbon, chlorine, I'm picturing some sort of lab. Yes, and we'll, we'll come see the lab next. Let's go see the lab. I'm okay. ready. Okay. 
Okay, Jeff, the lab. This is where, uh, you know, safety is paramount when it comes to your water. So this is where it all kind of goes down from a safety as aspect. Yes, absolutely. With the advanced treatment that we have here, not only do we have the treatment, but we need to test to make sure that the treatment processes are working and we are producing a safe water. So in, in this lab here, we test for a lot of the more advanced things, so a lot of the, the, the herbicides, pesticides, those types of, of chemicals. We also test for some of the more simpler things like uh, calcium and, and chlorine. So every step of the way, though, from start to finish, you're constantly testing the water to make sure that, that it's safe. Absolutely. Th this lab here, we test, uh, we test water from all throughout the treatment processes. In all, we do about 600 tests a day from our, our chemists and laboratory technicians uh, just to make sure that the water going through the treatment and going out into the, the system is safe. Jeff, I thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure. Uh, now let's go find out what I'm sure you're all dying to know. How does the water get from here to your home? Let's go check it out. Verna Arnett has been kind enough to join us and she's gonna tell us exactly how that happens. So talk a little bit about where we are and, and how that process occurs. Okay, right now we're standing in what's called our California control room, which is the place where we make all of our um, decisions on how to pump the water into the homes. And we do that through a series of pipes, tanks, and pump stations. Our system contains about 3,100 miles of pipe, 24 pump stations, and 33 tanks to get the water to our customers. Unbelievable, wow. So a lot really goes on in here. I mean, there's a lot of people hard at work that the average water consumer might not think about. Right, right. We control all our pumping operations from here. We can monitor our tank levels. We can monitor water quality throughout the distribution system to make sure that we're um, supplying our customers the highest quality water that we can. So this really is the heart of it all when it comes to water. Yes, wow. yes it is. Wow. Talk a little bit about what we have going on up here. This is an example of how we control our pumps. We look at our tank levels and we also look at our, the positions of our valves. Um, on this particular screen, actually the red pump labeled ASP1 yeah. is the one that's running right now. And you can see at the upper uh, portion of the screen, two tanks that we're pumping to. And this information is all real-time information that's fed directly back here from the facilities that are remote in our system. It's amazing how much goes into this that people don't really think about when they pour a glass of water. It starts in the river and it goes through a whole big process before it gets into that glass. So thank you very much for all the information. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Well, we've shown you what happens behind the scenes. Now let's hit the front lines and show you what happens when there's a problem. Well, I've got my trusty hard hat on and that can mean only one thing. We got a water main break. Jeff Peeper, Greater Cincinnati Water Works. First things first, for our audience out there that may not know, explain what a water main break is. A water main break is when one of our underground pipes that delivers water to your home or business breaks and we have to repair it. Now, how, how would you even know when one of these leaks is happening? I mean, do we see water coming up from the ground? Typically, we respond to a report from one of our customers that there's water showing up in an unusual place or bubbling up in the street. We send our first responders out, which are, we call our valve operators. They go out and make an initial assessment of the situation, determine the severity, if it's doing damage, if it's something that needs to be fixed immediately, or if it's something that can go in our normal work process. Once they make that determination, it's turned over to repair crew to respond immediately or put in their schedule of routine work. So, so this is a pretty spontaneous job that you guys have where you got to get there. Exactly. We work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We're always open to respond to any sort of water emergency. They're always open, like 7-Eleven. I love it. All right, Jeff, thanks so much. Uh, should we go take a look? Okay. Let's go take a look. Let's do it. Well, I hope we've quenched your thirst on all things water. Thanks for joining us. For Tricks of the Trade, I'm Adam Clements. Take care.